Hey guys, how's it going? In this video we're going to look at n-type doping for semiconductors, so let's get started. Now before we look at a specific type of doping, which is n-type doping, a quick reminder about the purpose of doping in the first place. So remember the whole point of doping a semiconductor material is in order to increase its conductivity, or in other words, reduce its resistance. So in order to carry out n-type doping, it says that if a group 5 or group V element such as arsenic, which has 5 outer electrons, is introduced into the crystal lattice, then four of its outer electrons will bond covalently with the silicon atoms. So remember our crystal lattice structure of the atoms in the material, where we've got these silicon atoms with their four valence or outer electrons, and we're saying that if we introduce one atom of arsenic here with its five outer electrons, then it says the fifth electron will be free to move about and conduct. So what we've actually done is we've introduced an impurity atom, which is arsenic here, which has an extra electron because four of the outer atoms for arsenic are going to bond covalently with the silicon atoms adjacent to it, but there's going to be that extra leftover electron which can move about and increase the conductivity of the material. So it says since the ability of the material to conduct is increased, the resistance of the semiconductor is therefore reduced. Remember these two things, conductivity and resistance, are sort of like opposites. The addition of an impurity like arsenic to an intrinsic semiconductor is called n-type doping. In n-type semiconductors, most conduction takes place by the movement of free electrons which are negatively charged. We therefore say the majority charge carriers in an n-type semiconductor are therefore electrons. So because we've got an increased number of electrons that are free to move about and conduct, for n-type doping, we say the majority charge carriers are electrons. So one way to remember this is that electrons are negatively charged, and n is obviously the first letter in the word negatively, so you could think about electrons as being connected to n-type. But remember n-type semiconductor materials materials themselves are actually neutral, not negatively charged. Just to show you a quick simulation to help you understand this, let's say I've got an n-type material here where the red dots represent the electrons and the larger black dots represent the nuclei of our atoms. And let's introduce an impurity atom of arsenic here. Then you'll see that it's actually introduced an extra electron there, and if we click play, you'll see that that extra electron can move about in the material and increase conductivity. That's all for this video folks, thanks for watching, if you made it to the end I really appreciate it. Make sure to give the video one of these, subscribe to the channel and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.